Good evening, YouTube. Tonight we have a 2012-2013 Ford Fiesta. This one here, I believe, is a Mark 7, I think. I kind of get confused because there's that many Fiestas, that many different marks. I've been going for quite a number of years now, so I'm pretty sure this is a Mark 7. So this one here has got a lot of funky noises coming from the back end. So this generation of Fiesta and the one before it were pretty prone for the rear axle bushes. Let's get the light on. That's a bit better. The rear axle bushes which sit inside here. So you're supposed to have a special tool to replace the bush. You've got to knock the bush out and get it back in. Uh, there is a special tool. I do have the special tool. I've literally just bought the special tool. However, for years I've done it uh, without the tool um, by effectively making my own. So I'm going to do it with a tool this time just because it's a novelty. I've got a nice shiny new tool. But I will um, show you. I've got pictures and stuff like that of how I've done it before. Just using stuff that I've got lying about the garage. So, first things first, because I'm going to be jacking up the whole back end, uh, I'm going to have to lift the car and I'm going to put it in some axle stands, I think, and that way both wheels are free from the road and I've got all the space I need. I'm going to lift, going to lift the whole back end. First job I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to put it into first gear. Just double check that that's actually in. First gear. The reason for that is when I lift the whole back end of the car off, then it's the back end that's actually locked by a handbrake. So I don't want the car rolling away. So first gear will lock up the two front wheels. I'm going to stick a jack underneath it and look for a suitable place to put some axle stands. Now that's the back wheels off the deck and it's safely supported on axle stands. I can then start taking the wheel off. So that's both road wheels off. I had to get Mr Sledgehammer to give me a hand because uh, those wheels haven't been off in a, a long time I don't think. What I've done is I've just put the wheel just underneath the sill there, same on the other side. Again just an added bit of security if that was to come off the jacks um, you know it won't fall all the way to the floor. Um, so now I'll slide underneath and have a look at see when it needs done. Now this uh, offside looks quite easy, there's a nut on here, bolt round the back behind this little bracket here. So this one's okay because the bolt goes that direction. So once I take the nut off, tap the bolt right through and that's this one clear. The problem is that I've got on the other side is the fuel tank is in the way so I'll show you that. This is the uh, near side, you can actually see See whether the, the bush is coming away from the pin in the centre. So these things are definitely bad. But there we have the fuel tank. This bolt has got to come off, come out this way, and it's going to fill on this full fuel tank. So I won't be able to pull it out far enough to get this out. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to re remove it from the floor of the car. So there's one, two, and I think there's one at the back as well. Yeah, so on this side, I'll need to take the three bolts. And this whole bracket with me to enable me to get the clearance to take that bolt out in that direction. Yeah, the other side we shouldn't have to do that. So it's pretty straightforward in the sense there's not a lot of bolts to, to get that out. Um, it's just uh, made a little bit more difficult because there's fuel tanks anyway. But again, it's one of these things. Um, it's got to get on with it. So before I actually take all these off, I'm going to crack them off and um, get them moving. But before I actually remove them, I need to put a jack underneath that axle. Because if I take these two sides out, this jack axle is just going to fall forward. Um, so a wee jack under there will stop that happening. So first job over on this near side, is we're just going to get the wire brush, clean the threads on that, clean the threads on that, um, and spray it with some WD-40. And on the opposite side, I'll do the, all the bolts I need to remove on there, like the ones that's on the floor, for example. I'll give them a good clean and soak them in WD-40. 
Now that's been soaking for about 10 minutes. Uh, I'm going to take this one off first. Uh, that's just like a little bracket that holds this uh, handbrake cable on. So if I can get this bolt off, I can move the handbrake cable out of the way. Just give me a bit more, a bit more access. Then I'm going to take this, this is an 18mm, I'm going to take this nut off. My main aim at this side, I'm not actually going to remove this bolt. I'm going to take the nut and make sure I can get it off and make sure the bolt can move in and out. I'm not actually going to remove it at the moment, but I just want to make sure it's nice and clear. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Uh, the reason for that is when I put the jack underneath the, the axle, I want to be able to take these out and have a full control over how it drops. Uh, what you don't want is this, to have to tap this bolt out and then the axle just falls. Um, so slow and steady wins the race. So that's that one off. Uh, I thought I was going to have my first casualty of the evening because yeah, this didn't really want to come off. I was, had visions of it just snapping, which wouldn't have been the end of the world because yeah, it is literally just a bracket. So I could have, at the end of the day, could, sort of cable tied it in place and it would have been absolutely fine. But thankfully, just working it back and forward, a few threads out, through threads back in, out, back in, out, back in. Eventually, you, what you're doing is you're cleaning the thread on the way out. Um, so I've managed to save this one. So, quite happy with that so far. But I honestly thought I was going to be the first casualty. So next thing I'm going to go for is this 18 mil. Yeah, I'm going to do the same with that. I'm going to try and back it off, back in, back it off, back in. And hopefully we don't snap anything. This one here. Just got a couple of little extensions and a big breaker bar just to get that one started off. So I've cracked that off, so I'll just do it with the ratchet now. Uh, I'm confident that is free and able to move. It's actually the head of the bolt on the other side is actually a 15, so put a 15mm uh, ratchet on the back of it and 15mm on the uh, sorry, 18mm on the front. And it came off with not too much trouble. So I'll give it a little tap of the hammer and it's pushing through. So, like I said, I'm going to leave that in place just now and start working on the other side. So, same again on that side. I'm going to take this 13mm bolt off. Uh, hopefully, this one feels a bit better. But same again, I'll just work it back and forward, back and forward, cleaning the thread on the way out. Hopefully, that'll come off in one piece. I'm going to loosen up this bolt in here. There's a, it's a Loosen up this bolt, same as I did on the other side, make sure it can move. And then I'm going to go for these bolts that it goes under the floor. So that's all those bolts cracked off and free. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a jack underneath this back axle. Uh, once I've got the jack in place, I can then remove the bolts and then slowly lower it down so that I can actually see the bush that's sitting behind us. With the jack safely positioned underneath that axle, I can remove those bolts confident that the jack is not the back axle is not going to go anywhere and I can slowly lower it down so I've got full control over the movement. So that's that jack being lowered down so you can see it's cleared this bit here. And the same on the other side. So I'm just going to remove this bolt and have a look at it. You can see quite a clay in this already. Um, I'm going to remove this bolt and have a look at this bush. So that's that bolt being removed. Just put it to the side. I'll just look at this. See, obviously for a start, that should be attached to that. Look at look at that. Completely and utterly gone. The other side's much the same. This is a common issue, I think, on these Fiestas, the Mark 6 and the Mark 7. Both use the same back axle. So, that's not good. So, I need to get this old bush out of here. You can use the tool to try and push it out. or But because it's knackered anyway, you can just destroy it to get it out. But, I'll have a wee look and see what way I want to do it. One thing to note is... You see that the, the rim of this bush goes, sits down, and it sits down on here as well. There's also a little notch here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little marker on here, even if I just get a screwdriver and scratch on this metal piece here. And then when I put the new bush in, just make sure that it's there. I don't think it would make that much of a difference. However, 
I just want to make sure that I get it in exactly as it came out. So I think what I'll do is I'll, like I say, just put a scratch in there so that I know that that notch lines up with that. So I've decided I'm just going to destroy it. I'm not going to mess about too much with it. So you can see there's a gap. There's a gap here and a gap here. So the only bit of the bush that's actually attached to the kind of outer ring is a bit round here and a bit there. So I'm just going to get a drill uh, with maybe a, a big drill bit, maybe an 8mm drill bit. I'm just going to put a series of holes through here. It should just zip right through that because it's just rubber. Same in the bottom. And just take this whole centre piece right out. And she's out. As you can see. Uh, it's actually a bit more difficult than I thought. That's certainly more difficult than the last time I tried to take one out. But what I end up doing is... Uh, I tried the drilling method and it was just it was just too problematic. So I got a cold chisel and I basically wedged it between this axle and the side of this bearing. Uh, sorry, bush. Because the outside of the bush is actually made of nylon or plastic. So I managed to... Get it down that side, and also get it down that side. Broke off uh, the side of it there, and then got my pry bar and wedged it. Keep playing with it, and wedged it. Eventually, it popped out. So I'm happy with that. I'm just going to give that a wee, wee rub down, a little clean, uh, and I'll move on to the other side and wrestle with that one and get that one out. So as you can see, with this side, I have. Chisels away just a little corner of this uh, lip and then put the cold chisel right through there which has broken the sort of outer rim of this bush. So I'm just going to do the same again on here. I see I've chiseled away a little corner and I've started to hammer that right through. Um, so hopefully if I break it this side, break it that side, it should be able to collapse in on itself and get it out. So let's see if this was what's better than the last time. So it's starting to go out. Like I said, I broke the inside bit there. And if I just keep prying that, I should be able to get it to come out. So I'll just keep persevering with that until I get it out. And she's out. Now this is a new, new bush. As you can see, the middle bit is solid. So, this is a new tool for putting it in. So, what you do is, it's basically a bush pressing tool, but specifically for this back axle. You can make a tool. I've made a tool before, and what I'll do is I'll show you pictures of it. Basically, the tool that I've made is uh, made by some big sockets, a couple of bolts, and uh, I think it was an M10 threaded rod, or an M12 threaded rod. But what I'll do is I'll uh, upload a picture of the tool that I've been using for you know, the last couple of years to do this exact job. Um, but I thought it was time to treat myself and get a specific tool for the job. So what you do is you take this off, you slide the bush onto it, um, put it right through. I'll show you in a wee second. Right, what I've done is I've just got a bit of sandpaper and I've cleaned all that bit out. out. Um, the next step I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a bit of soap. Uh, I've just got some hand wash here. So I'm going to smear some soap in here and also around the bush. You could use grease or something like that. Because this is nylon, it's like plastic. I don't want to use any sort of grease in case it reacts with the plastic. So a bit of soap, very liquid anything like that just to help it along as it's getting squeezed in so I'll do that just now and I'll rig up the tool so the tool should be set up something like that so when you start tightening this bolt down it actually pushes the bush into this socket here but remember that little line I made, the little mark so I'm just going to, before I do anything else I'm going to get that lined up with a little notch 
there's a little notch there so I'll line that up and then I'll just start to tighten that and as I tighten that we should start pulling it inwards the trick is, is to try and get this as straight as you can so just take a wee bit of extra time making sure that it's all uh, sort of equally distanced all the way around this lip so that when you pull it in it's not pulling in at an angle and it's pulling in nice and straight so tighten that down and that is now flush solid ready to go back in so I'm just going to do exactly the same thing on the opposite side so that's how it should look once it's all been pressed in so we just press it until it's flush and then that's it but like I said I'll show you a picture of the tool that I made myself uh, I'll show you how I've done it but obviously this is just I've done quite a few of these recently so it's just about time I actually bought the proper tool for it just to make things a wee bit easier So there's bush number two, all nice and shiny and new. So all I've got to do now is on this side, I've got this bracket to put on. So I'll be putting that on and bolting it up onto the floor. So I'll just do that now. Now when you're bolting this one back on, don't tighten this right up because you want to have a bit of play in here. So that you, when you line it up with the holes on the floor, you can sort of manoeuvre it into position. If you tighten up right now, then you won't have the play. So just leave that loose um, and leave that right to the end once it's all in position. So I'm going to start to raise this jack and hopefully it lines up okay. Uh, sometimes you might need to sort of push and pull the axle a little bit just to get it to line up. Um, but the main thing I'm looking for is over there. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Um, there's a little lug. I'll get you over there. This is the top of that mount right there. You can see the little lug. So that little, little locator will locate into a hole in the bottom of the floor. So it shouldn't be too difficult to get that to line up and hopefully if the bolts line up this side they should line up the other side too as you can see this hole is almost lined up and you just need to the axle needs to come back a little bit and up a little bit so a bit of pushing and pulling just to try and get it to line up uh, and so i can get that bolt through there so that's that all back in place this one here was a bit problematic, this is the driver's side, and this one here was a bit problematic um, trying to get this to line up while knocking the bolt through from behind um, I did at one point contemplate putting the bolt through this way because it would be a lot easier, I could I could easily see it lining up and knock it through with a hammer but I, d I don't like doing stuff like that, I like to try and put stuff back the way I found it so I just persevered with it had a little screwdriver in the front trying to line it up whilst trying to put it through the back. Problem is you can't get the, the hammer round the back there because it's exhausts in the way. So the bolt sits up in the back up here. So just about see it up there. Just about see it up there. But the problem is the exhaust is in the way. So you can't really swing a hammer and tap it in or anything like that, so you just got to try and persevere with it. I did get a little bodywork hammer, which has got a kind of pointy end on it, so I managed to get that round, round exhaust and start tapping it a little bit, but it's in. So all I do now, let's focus. There we go. So all I've got to do now is I'm just going to go around with uh, the breaker bar and just make sure that these are nice and snug. Uh, you want these to be pretty tight. So I've got this one on this side and uh, the ones on the, on the floor on the other side. Uh, after that it's just a case of putting the wheels back on and dropping it down onto the deck. So that's the wheels back on, wheel trims back on. I topped up all those bolts. So that's it. Everything ready to go. That is a fix. So, 
you like what you see, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Good night.